Alternating between our overseas missions worldwide and headquarters, Foreign Service Officers or FSOs safeguard and advance Singapore's interests. From helping overseas Singaporeans in distress, to strengthening relations or having a ringside seat when significant events unfold, every assignment presents a different learning opportunity and developmental experience, and every FSO's life story is unique. I wanted a career that would give me exposure to a greater range of challenges and let me try new things that are out of my comfort zone. My friend encouraged me to apply to MFA because of my interest in international relations. I majored in political science and wanted to see the world, so MFA seemed like a very natural choice. I have a degree in mechanical engineering, but the call to join the Foreign Service was compelling. A unique opportunity to experience a global perspective, the wide range of postings and new cultures. Part of what I do is telling the Singapore story at post. During my time in Guangzhou, we organised three cultural diplomacy events to showcase Singapore's history and heritage. A photo exhibition, a Singapore film appreciation event, and a Peranakan exhibition. It was heartening to receive positive feedback from the local residents. I oversee maritime issues in Southeast Asia. The issues are very technical and complex, but I really enjoy defending Singapore's sovereignty and the integrity of our maritime boundaries. As Chief of Protocol, I work with my colleagues to manage the foreign high commissions and embassies and their staff in Singapore. My team also helped make sure that visits by both foreign leaders and our leaders are successfully conducted. At Mission in Moscow, I had to monitor closely developments in Crimea. As a small state, we were very concerned with the respect for international rule of law. In particular, we opposed the annexation of any country or territory. Singapore is a small country, but our name and space will remain small if we only think about our size on the map. FSOs helped to create a larger space for Singapore on the world stage. I'm proud to help to develop that space and be in that space. One memorable project was how Singapore could support Myanmar's development. This resulted in establishing the Singapore Myanmar Vocational Technical Institute. What began as an idea on paper has translated to making the Institute's graduates more employable. I represented Singapore at the 2009 UN Climate Conference in Copenhagen. We had to develop Singapore's policy response to this global challenge from scratch. Although a junior diplomat, I spoke for Singapore to support the Copenhagen Accord. It was the experience of a lifetime. 2015 was especially memorable for me. From the state funeral of the late Mr. Lee, where about 170 foreign dignitaries from 27 countries came to pay their respects, to the SG50 and DP, where for the first time, 27 foreign leaders attended the celebrations. I was part of the task force that managed all organisational aspects of Singapore's ASEAN Chairmanship in 2018. As this was a whole of government effort, we coordinated between many ministries, agencies and working committees. We started preparations in early 2017 and given the number of officers involved, countless hours went into making sure that everything ran smoothly. My posting to Cairo was surreal and real at the same time. Where I stayed, I wake up every morning to the side of the River Nile and getting to work, I'd be passing by the pyramids. More importantly, I was in Egypt at the time of the post-Arab Spring, where the security of the country was still on tenterhooks and I had to see to the security and protection of our mission and Singaporeans in the region. I have spent 14 years on overseas postings and I have also been rotated to several directorates in HQ. Each HQ assignment and overseas stint has its share of excitement and challenges, as well as mundane but necessary work. And sometimes you get a ringside seat to evolving world events. Having a strong family network of support is very important. My spouse is very supportive of my career and is prepared to uproot himself for my overseas postings. The work culture in MFA is like the gears in a watch. Every moving part, no matter how small, is crucial to the functioning of the watch. That's how we work together here. The Ministry prepares me for my role as an FSO with milestone training programmes throughout my career. In preparation for my overseas posting as Administrative Secretary, I underwent training in areas such as finance, consular, procurement and human resource. Year on year, I really grow as an officer and as a person. I have also forged deep friendships with fascinating people, both for myself and for Singapore. Sometimes you are really stretched to your limit and you could be at your wit's end, but at the end of the day, you can count on the support of your fellow colleagues. An MFA career is like a roller coaster ride. There are ups and downs, but no lack of excitement. It is said, that a good FSO may not know everything, but he or she is resourceful enough to know where to look for answers. If you're looking for a challenging career and want to have a finger on the pulse of the world, 
the MFA career is definitely for you. To thrive in MFA, you must have the right attitude and the teachable spirit. Don't just aspire to be a Foreign Service Officer. Join the service and inspire others to be part of the MFA family. Be prepared to work hard and make many sacrifices, but the unique experiences that come with the career is second to none. There will never be a dull moment.